Yeah, Erica, you just said it. A lot of information for people to digest. So let me help you carefully. Uh, let me walk you through the information here so you can get a better understanding of what happened here. So we know that it was two transformers that failed, causing the power outage to happen over at the East Water Purification Plant. And so we actually have a timeline here of information that was shared by Mayor Sylvester Turner just a few moments ago during that press conference of what he says happened after the power went out. So you can see there, 10.30 a.m. East Water Purification Plant 1 and 2 lost power. Then about 20 minutes later at 10.50, Plant 3 lost power. And then that's when some sensors started to dip below uh, the recommended pressure. So 14 sensors were below 20 PSI for less than two minutes. Two sensors were below 20 PSI for 30 minutes. And five sensors never fell below 20 PSI. And so by 12.15 p.m., power was restored to Plant 1 and 2 and by 12.30, power was restored to plant three. And by 3.30 p.m., all sensors were back to the recommended level of 35 PSI. And so up on your screen now, our sky eye cameras captured some aerial footage from up above of the plant this morning. And so, of course, the concern here is over the water pressure because when it dips below a certain point, that's when contaminants could be introduced into the water. And so as for questions about why it took so long to issue a boil water notice. The mayor was pressed on this issue pretty hard, and he says that the pressure, the water pressure, didn't instantly drop when power was lost at the uh, water plant. He says that officials were, of course, closely monitoring for any changes and decided to issue this boil water notice out of an abundance of precaution. So uh, take a listen here to some of what he had to say during the press conference. Further investigation by the Houston Water found that two transformers at plant one went offline due to a ground trip and current, current overload. The electrical feeder from plant three also experienced a ground fault trip. All right, so you just heard him there talking about uh, some of the, the timeline of what had happened when the power outage happened at the water uh, treatment facility. And so they said, once again, the boil water notice was issued out of an abundance of caution. And so as for what happens next here, so we know that water samples are being collected from around the city and that they're being taken to a city of Houston lab where they will undergo testing. And so here's the thing, those samples actually have to sit for 18 hours to see if anything grows uh, while they're in the lab. So of of course, it's a waiting game at this point, but hopefully once the all clear can be given, they estimate around three o'clock in the morning, the boil notice will be lifted, uh, but they also have to get approval from the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality. They're the ones who ultimately can say that it's once again safe to drink out of faucets here in the city of Houston. So of course, we'll keep you updated, but with that, I'm going to toss it back inside to you. Charlie at City, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.